In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on how you control the animation of a title. When the animation puts some of the title on the screen in places where you don't want it, but you like the animation, can you have the best of both worlds? Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you a bit about how you can modify the impact of animating a title on the screen. In the example you just saw, we have our first title, Pittsburgh Metro Services. And then we have another title coming in, but we don't want it to interfere with the first one when we animate it. Let me illustrate that. I'm going to add my title. I'll click on T for titles, take my default My Title and drag it down to a higher numbered track. Then I'm going to double click on it. This will be my abbreviated designer in this. So I'll click on Title. I'm going to change the letters, and I like to use a box in the upper left because it's easier to see my spelling mistakes. I'll type Expanding Business Services. And then, let, then let's change the font size of the title from 20. We'll go down to a 14. And we'll change the font family to something else here. Uh, let's just do this one for fun. And I'll take and I'll drag it and we'll use the pink lines to center it. Say we want it to wind up right about here. Now I'm going to add a shadow. I highlight the shadow control. And I don't want it at 3. I want it a little subtle. So I'm going to just type 2 and press Enter. So it will stand out against the background. Now I want to animate it. When I go to animation, I have lots of options here. Let's take this one here and see what happens when we try to apply it. I'll click on that. And it does come down, but you notice what happens. It comes across my letters. Now what I'm going to do is get in the, the advanced mode. That's where I usually do all my editing. I find it much better. And let's expand the duration. We're going to slow down the in animation, which is my seamless right. And let's play this again, and you'll get to see how the out comes down normally. Okay, there it is. I like the animation, but you see it's, it's in front of this other title, and that really doesn't look the way I want it to. Is there a way that I can have the animation and yet control it so it doesn't interfere? The answer is yes. Let me show you how to do that. You have to be in the advanced editing mode to do that, but I'll leave it like it is. We'll stop the play here. And then what we're going to do is go back into our Object tab in our Advanced Editing. Now here I have a Title Reveal Mask. I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio. Now this mask applies only to this particular title. So what I want to do is I want it to be visible in the bottom third of the screen. So I'm going to take the top third, drag this down, and now, any animation that involves this title will only be visible in this segment of the screen. So let's try that again. I've got the mask. We'll go to the beginning. And we'll play our, our clip here. And you're watching what's happening. You only get to see it below my other title. So I have the both the animation and I have the control so it doesn't interfere with the other part of my title or anything else I want on the screen. I'll click on OK. And so when we play this segment of our video in the main screen, let's give us some more room here. We'll hit play. And then our title comes in. And I have my animation, but I have no interference with anything else. Now, this is probably the most useful when you have a, a title animation in or out that affects a lot of the screen. When you have those, and sometimes they're very cool, this is the way to limit it so it plays well on your project with anything else that you have on the screen of your video.